Yeah, hey guys, um, I had a, I have a follow up to my uh, last video that I made about the difference between Bill Cosby and uh, Carolyn Bryant and uh, Asia Argento, and yeah, I, I don't know how to say this, you know, because I might, I might, uh, I might. Uh, end up offending some people that are diehard die hard supporters of Cosby and everything, but that's not the uh, intent at all. This is, this is fact here that I'm about to say, and we have to address this right now. Uh, we have to keep in, we have to keep this in mind that I believe it is very possible that he played a part in his own demise. Let me say this again. I, I really believe that he played a part in his own demise. And why would I think something like that? Because like, like, um, I've watched, a, uh, I've, I've watched a few, uh, videos from some, some known YouTubers. And when I, when I, when I watched that video, when I watched their videos, I had to understand, hey, you know what? This is something that is that is a fact. And honestly, yeah, these these are not uh these are these are guys that are, you know, their opinions are pretty well pretty well respected, but I'm not just going off their opinions as to why I think his why I think he's he's the uh cause of his own downfall. There's some truth to this. If you if you realize if you realize that um, back in the day in his in his heyday when he was Doctor Heat, Heatcliff Huxtable, yeah, I'm slowing it down a bit. When he was Doctor Heatcliff Huxtable, he was pretty much well. It's not just you know what I take that back. It's not just Doctor Heat Doctor Huxtable, but let's be let's be fair. His what I think what I believe took him was his own, what was what was his own demise and it wasn't just it wasn't him just admitting to the uh fact that he gave them he gave the women quaaludes that wasn't to me that wasn't his that i don't really believe that's his biggest defense his biggest defense was being squeaky clean his biggest his biggest defense was him being so perfect to the point of where let me move this around a bit his his uh, problem was the fact that he was so perfect to the point of where he didn't think he could do anything wrong. And what I think and what I think about all that is the, pr the problem with the problem with that is people like that. When they when they have a squeaky clean image, they will do anything and everything to preserve it. There's no room for error. They don't they don't curse. They don't. They don't think things that they don't think they don't think uh, they don't have any intentions that are like less than uh, less than positive or noble or whatever. They they they've had drinks. They they don't they don't have drinks. They they live okay. Uh, this this comes from a famous psycho psychoanalyst named Dr. Carl Jung, and. He came up with the concept, he discovered the idea of the shadow, or the concept of the shadow. And because of that, because of that, these are people that live on the outside. They're, they're so perfect. They, they, they're scared of ru ruining their images, their image for people. They don't want to be seen a certain way. So they have a dark side or a shadow side or whatever. And they just want to keep that. They just want to keep that, keep that as hidden as, fo as, as possible. But that that is that in and of in and of itself is a problem. I've um, because you know, and I will I know that when you when you're living a lie and you're uh, you're trying to be something for everybody, that becomes a problem. It's a big problem because it's like being a nice guy. Nice guys, you know that saying, "Nice guys finish last." Well, that's that's kind of true. I don't believe I it, it's not or I don't believe that it was meant to be a compliment. I believe it's meant to be an insult because what nice guy is going to get the best of anything in life. But but they have to be they have to be 
goody goody or Mr. Goody Goody or, or Mr. Boy Scout or whatever. That just doesn't happen. And no, and there's there's no there is no way in the world you can convince me that just being a nice guy will get you everything in life because it won't. You know, even even wealthy people wealthy people have acquired their billions millions or billions by being dirty. It's just not. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not uh, possible to think that someone who's someone who knows who's who's gained a lot of wealth, a lot of riches, did it with honor, or did it with uh, being being a, a fair person. They did it by you know you, they did it by uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They did it by dishonesty and you know dirty and dirty deeds i know i'm flubbing a bit but i'm just i'm powering through my my point is my point is my point here is and i know it's dark i should have done this i should have done this much earlier but my point of the matter is there is just no way in the world there's no way there's no way on earth that someone can uh get all the it, well, let, let me change that. Let me change that up. Because I, 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 because I think I've, I think I've really gotten, gotten a little bit off course here. I, I have and I haven't. My point is, I really think Cosby's tale, Cosby's downfall, should be a cautionary tale for anybody who's not just trying to gain success in life, but just trying to live life. You can't just live a squeaky, you can't just have a squeaky clean image or be squeaky clean and think that, and, and then turn around and just judge everybody else. And then later on, when something bad happens to you, think that people are supposed to run to, run to your rescue. It's, it's, it's let, let, me, let me be a little uh, crass here. It's pretty fucked up that this has ha this has happened to him it really is i it, it's it's terrible that it's happened to him and yet at the same time we knew this was going to happen we knew this was going to happen and there's no there's no way you can say that it it, it couldn't happen now do i think he's going to get out do i think he's going to get out around you know is he going to serve the, serve the full sentence i don't think he will I really don't think he will. And here's another person that lived a squeaky clean life lifestyle. That um, that yeah. Here's another squeaky clean person that lived a. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I'm, damn, I'm messing this up. Here's another person who lived a squeaky clean image or had a squeaky clean image, and they pretty much weren't exactly who they they weren't they weren't exactly who we thought they were. Case in point, O.J. Simpson. You know, he's this. This is a guy who was considered to be a role model, to, a role model to youth and everything. And he was, you know, he he did he did endorsements, especially for Hertz and everything. Nice, well, nice guy, supposedly or supposedly nice guy. But the problem was, you know, he he was he was responsible for the death. He, he was supposed to be responsible for the death of uh, Ron and Nicole. Uh, yeah, his wife, his wife, his wife Nicole Simpson, and his and and Ron, and Ron, I forgot I forgot his, Ron Goldman. Thank you, Ron Goldman. So, and then on top of that, even before he was allegedly responsible for their deaths, he did he the, he had a history of spousal spousal abuse with the women that he married, especially Nicole Simpson. So, it doesn't really pay to live. It doesn't pay to. It doesn't really pay to live that kind of life. It doesn't pay to be that kind of person, being being something that you're not. Because ultimately, in the end, what's going to happen is, you can't control that forever. You know, everything your reality is going to crumble, or what you think is rea reality is going to un unravel, and it's going to be a problem for you, problem for you because it's going to be one of the most stressful moments of your life. Now, do I necessarily blame them? For for uh, do I blame OJ, OJ and uh, Bill Cosby for 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 uh, being for not living authentically? No, I don't. Because to be honest with you, when you the the thing about it is for them, and whether you like it or not, race does play a factor in this. These are two black men. 
These are two black men that had to live, who had to live that way because they couldn't be aggressive, they couldn't be honest, they couldn't be authentic because if they tried to be authentic, live an authentic life, the problem, the problem would be they're angry, they're, you know, it's, or, it's, or any other uh, negative, or any other negative, uh, anything else negative connect, connected to them. So they had to be what the world, they really had to be what the world wanted them to be, you know, just, just for the sake, just for the sake of not, you know, uh, just for the sake of them getting where they wanted to go. But honestly, I think that's, I think that's a bad call because now, now when you think about it, it is, it has come back to bite them on the ass and it's come back to bite them on the ass, on the ass big time. Thank you. Thank you for watching or thank you for listening.